Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Miss Greed. Acknowledge our founder, our apostle, Dr. B.T. Williams and family in their absence. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father of the church. Hallelujah. Just continue to put your hands together for them this morning. Hallelujah. Acknowledge our bishops, Bishop Garcia Edwards, and also Bishop Han Anderson. Put your hands and family. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Acknowledge our senior pastor, Pastor Michael Cox, and family. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Also, the junior pastor who's not here this morning with us. Pastor Ali and Missionary Honey. Put your hands together for them and their family. Hallelujah. We love them. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for our minister, Mr. Francis and Mr. Benjamin. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Our musician, continue to put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Our prayer mothers, put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Our usher. Hallelujah, the technician team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every woman in the house, put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Every man in the house, every boy, every girl in the house this morning. Just wave your hands to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Also, we want to acknowledge those that are viewing by social media. Hallelujah. YouTube and Facebook. Hallelujah. You are not in the house of the Lord, but I know you are viewing. Hallelujah. We welcome you, we welcome you in the house this morning. Hallelujah. We welcome you all in the house this morning. Hallelujah. It is a pleasure to be here this morning to give him all the praise and to give him all the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you for being here this morning. Hallelujah. Is there any first time visitor in our place this morning? Can you all stand to your feet? First, second, third. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Keep standing, my brother. Keep standing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. We will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On behalf of our apostle, Dr. B.T. Williams, our bishops, Bishop Pastor Edwards and Courtney Anderson, our two pastors, Pastor Michael Thompson, Pastor Allen, and the members of the Older Evangelistic Center. Church, we like welcoming you know, our meetings this morning. You could be somewhere else, my name, but you choose to be a part of it this morning and we welcome you. We welcome you as long as these doors are open, you are welcome in our meetings. Hallelujah! Put your hands together. We thank you. We welcome you one more time. Hallelujah! Put your hands together for it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It could be on the byways with his friend. Hallelujah! But he chose to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just point to the blessing of the blessing Jesus. Come on. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. It's such a pleasure to be in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Baker, we're glad to have you in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Just make your hands to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mr. Groovy, just make your hands to the Lord this morning. We are glad to have you in the house this morning. Let's go. 
morning, I know it's been Hallelujah.
3,500 per seat. So if you have a child like, stand up my sister in the group. Yes. She, she's sitting on a seat and the 3,500 is per seat. So at the end of the day, we don't want persons coming and saying we are carrying children and if the price is possible, is per seat. So the, the funding trip is per seat. It's not per adult or per children or whatever. It's per seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to get that fund, I know that 3,500 is a lot. Even for those that are not working, it's a lot to find 3,500. We are in the month of May, and at the end of this month is over from the Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But we can trust the Lord for working out that money. Hallelujah! It's a time when we get together with each other person's cook, and as we were told that we have Burger King, KC, nearby, so if you don't feel like cook or whatever, you can walk with the money. And you cook, you can start ask for your phone. Five hundred dollars. I call overseas, ask your friend, your relative to help you with that three thousand five hundred dollars. You see, I don't know much, you know, but I like to be among my church brethren. Hallelujah! I like to be among my church brethren. So if I'm there, I would like to see everybody in the church on that trip that day. Because who is not here?
Benjamin, can you get a mic? Because you're going to do this prayer for us. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Minister Benjamin. Minister Benjamin. These are the requests. Remember the first food offering request? Right. These are the requests. And Minister Benjamin is going to pray for them. You're going to pray for the sick, and you're also going to pray for our pastor and his wife. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song, and then we're going to own it, and it's the legend, and it's going to take us to the throne of God. For you. Oh, we are not 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will visit every son, uh, that you will visit every daughter, that you will visit every mother who is not saved. God Almighty, we pray for salvation of God for the unrighteous this morning. Oh, 
and his Ibsen is going to render a song for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So please repeat. Can you all stand to your feet if you can stand? And you're going to repeat after me. After three, one, two, three. When I died, died, God promises to open the windows of heaven and pour out for me a blessing that is taken from Malachi 3, verse 10. When I give, Jesus promised, if I give, it will be given back to me. Good measures, press down, shaken together, and running over. For with the same measure I give, it will be given back to me. And that is taken from Luke 6, verse 38. Paul the Apostle said, He who sows bountifully, will also reap bountifully. Take it from 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6, and Galatians 6, verse 7. As I give today's offering, I am believing the Lord for. Jobs are better jobs. Raises are bonuses. Benefits. Sales and commissions. Check in the mail. Gifts and surprises. Working for good money. Bills paid off. Settlements. Estates and inheritances. Houses and lands, interest and income, rebates and returns, tax demolished, on your time, tax demolished, royalties received, condition applied. We are one hundred percent tatters. God help us to be one hundred percent tatters.
today in church. But they're okay. They're all well.
and God had brought their counsel to the world that we return all of us to the world, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servant wrought the work, and the other half of them held both the spears, the shield, and the bows, and the harbingers, and the rulers were behind all the house of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I humble myself before you. God, I said, if you can use anything, use me just now. Lord, I humble my spirit. I humble my tongue. I humble my body. God, I humble my notes before you. And God, I said, take it. And if it is not your will, destroy it, God. And give me your will today. Lord, I sell out myself to you at this hour. And I said, God, anoint me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Oh, God, we know it's not easy, but we can make it. And so, God, I trust in you this morning. I trust in you today, God, because I know you are with us. Lord, you have done it already and you can do it again. Pray that you send your angels to surround this building. Step on the inside, God, and have your way this morning. Oh, God, let our hearts be willing to receive from you. And so, God, as we remain prayerful, God, we will hear a word from you. Father, we ask for your blessing today. Surround us and enclose us, God. Clear the atmosphere so I can hear from you, God. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight, O God. That when your people hear, God, it will transform, it will bring liberty, it will bring freedom and transformation this morning. Hear us, God. Hear us this morning. Hear us, God. And have mercy upon us. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me greet the Holy Spirit, which is the head of my life. Let me greet our bishops, our founding bishop, our presiding bishops. Let me greet our pastor, his absent pastor Thompson. Let me greet our resident pastor, Pastor Allen. Praise God, he's here with us day upon day, night upon night. And so this morning we want to trust God for him. We want to believe God that he is able. We want to believe God that he's going to take control. We want to believe God that he is more than enough for us this morning. And so this morning I want to share with you and share with myself on the topic, Back to Work. I want to share with us this morning, hallelujah, praise, God. praise be to God. Hallelujah. And if there isn't a time when you need to pray for me, I want you to pray for me this morning. Jesus. Praise God, the topic is Back to Work, hallelujah. I started out to fall.
inside this morning. I said, that's my heart desire this morning. Lord, take me back to the only mark. Let me make a new commitment and I'll begin a first start. Help me find my direction. Place a prayer in my heart. Lord, take me back. And whatever the sacrifice, my first love to restore. My soul cries out just to be renewed like never before. Lord, take me back. Anybody wants to go on that journey today? I said, is there anybody who wants to go on that journey today? Back to work. Back to work. Back to work. I want you to pray for them. Which was not. 
not God friendly. But he never leaves his God behind. Sometimes we are in a job that is not God friendly. Sometimes we are in a position that is not God friendly. But we cannot forsake who pays us here. Yeah. Hallelujah. I said Nehemiah did not forget who placed him in that job. Because he knows that God has a purpose for his life. Don't think because you are not noticed in the church or on the job. You are not important. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. Nehemiah was important. His job was important. Anything come before the king, Nehemiah had to take the poison first. He had to taste it first and the poison he had to take first before the king could have it. So his job was important. And so whatever position we are placed in, it is important. If it is the stand that the dwell and God is dwell from demons and devils, it is important. If it's the sick of the prayer group and pray against demons and devils, it is important. Me, my job was special. And we are special to God. And the little that we have, we must use it to glorify God. We must use it to give God thanks. But while Nehemiah was there and he was praying, he got word that the church was in trouble. Jerusalem was a city of God. And any time in those days the men of God heard that Jerusalem was in trouble, they started to pray. Because this is the city of God. And when we hear that the church is in trouble, let us not criticize. And when I'm talking about the church, I'm not talking about all other evangelistic center. I'm talking about the body of Christ. And when we hear that the body of Christ is in trouble, we are to pray and not to criticize it. Nehemiah could have turned a blind eye and said, I'm enjoying the fruit of passion. I'm enjoying the liberty of passion. But he had a burden in his heart for the church. He had a burden for the house of God. He had a burden for the city of God. And so when he heard that the house of God was in trouble, he can imagine. He said, what am I going to do? What can I do in this position that I am in? Why did God place me here? But here it is now. My position is important. Thank you. 
was asking the Lord for a word and while I was sitting there, I said, God, what is this I need to hear? But I must say, God is God. And so, Nehemiah saw it and he said, the fear as a burden is the care and there is much rubbish so that we are not able to build the wall. Sometimes we work so hard and we labor so hard to set the foundation and we labor so hard in the kingdom of God and so they go hurry come up. Sister Dwayne says, oh my God, we are Christian coming out of the place and we hear that they want to destroy the foundation.
I said if we're not in agreement for the re the building of the property in Marley, we can't walk together, Pastor. I said, Pastor, if you and I not seen I do I better part company with you. But I don't wish to stand in your way.
that the prayer meeting you come come with you. And God carry your hand to you and sit up back in your prayer chair, don't it? Time to work again, sister, still have breath. Yes, man. But guess what, Pastor? You know what I want to hear there in the way to get? And some of us are tired with the devil. Minister, I'm going to plan to tie with the devil. Because I'm going to tie with me. You can hear what? I said the devil play a rough, so we're gonna play with him because what he hurt me. Yes. You see, when I was growing up and I see you two work, I'm not playing with you because one thing I want to body beat up my body. Yes. So we're not playing with you. Mm-hmm. So we're not playing with the devil because he ran poor. Yeah. We're not playing with no enemy. Here is Psalm 35. Yes.
mind and a heart to work so that we can rebuild the walls that have been torn down. Pray for those that have been Pray for the shepherd. Because when the enemy smiled the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. But pray that the walls will be rebuilt so the enemy has no space and no place. Take us to the throne of grace. I'm 
then we cry oh God. Oh, hallelujah. Take the way, God. Sweat up, God. And those who are working and feel weary. Sweat them, God. For if you cry,
God you know. You are a God who reads the heart of my heart.
and pray that your hearts were challenged. Pray that your hearts were blessed. Pray that your hearts will be ready to work. Should I pronounce the benediction? Praise God. Over to you, Sister Prim, Missionary Smith. Oh, so what? Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Okay, we'll be issuing some baptismal certificates. So as soon as I call your name, you kindly come oh, right here. Thank you. Sister Shirley Sams.
Thank you all for coming. See you next week. God's willing, see you at prayer meeting. See you on Bible study. God bless you. And you will remain safe, remain safe, and remain safe as we go through the course of the week. God bless you. Bring somebody before you go. You might not be able to hold and touch. But you can put a smile on your mouth.